And so, uh, congratulations, uh, Judge. Well, I haven't even been appointed yet. Where did you hear that? Well, Hazel, I saw her down the street about a half an hour ago. Have you told anybody else? Well, no, sir, Mr. Baxter. Well, good. Please don't, Barney, because it's very important. Well, anything you say, Mr. Baxter, I won't say anything. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Dorothy. Dorothy? Yes, darling? Hazel has told Barney I'm already a judge. Oh, no. Oh, yes. That woman has a genius for causing trouble. Hello? <laughs> Hello, Carl, you old bandit. How's... Where did you hear that? Well, where did your maid hear it? Well, Hazel has no right to repeat such a story because it's absolutely not true. Uh, Carl, please, will you not repeat it to a soul? Thank you. Carl Fletcher? Yes. Well, he won't repeat it, George. She's probably told everybody in the neighborhood. And, and one person outside the family is too many. Mr. Baxter? Yes, sir? My name's Frank Olson. I'm a reporter on the Sentinel. Oh, no. My editor sent me over here to check on a rumor that you've been appointed to the municipal... Uh, no, look, 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 please, please. There's absolutely no truth to the rumor. None whatsoever. I'm sorry. Good day. Thank you, Mr. Baxter. Well, that settles it. What are you going to do, George? I'm going to call Judge Winters and have him withdraw my name. Oh, darling, no. I have no choice. And when Hazel gets back, I'm going to give her a talking to she'll never forget. I may even fire her. I know you're angry with her, George, but she just made the mistake because she's so proud of you. Dorothy, she's repeated family affairs outside the family Hello? and... I'm home. There she is. And for once, I'm going to talk to her before I cool down. Uh, George. George. Now, don't do anything hasty. If there was ever a time that called for hasty action, this is it, and I don't want you interfering. Hazel? Oh, for Pete's sake, Mr. B. You didn't have to come out here. I was going in there. I don't mind the walk, open Hazel. It. What's this? Isn't that just like a man? Go on, open it. It's a gavel. Oh, for Pete's sake. Now, before you start thanking me, I want to say something. Hazel, just a minute. You know how I feel about Missy here. And little Harold, when he gets a good report card, I go all over town bragging about it. <laughs> I'm awful. Hazel, please, I want to talk to you. But it ain't so easy for me to let you know how I feel about you, Mr. B. Because you got your little peculiarities, and maybe I got some, too. But I love you, Mr. B. Just like you was a kid brother or something. So I've been going all over town bragging about you being a judge. You like the gavel? Yeah, yes, Hazel. It's, it's a beauty. I'll show you how to use it. You know, you don't bang it. You just give it little taps like that. Oh, I'll tell you something funny. <laughs> Once I was presiding at a meeting of the Sunshine Girls, you know, and I didn't have any gavel, so I was using a croquet mallet. <laughs> and a couple of the girls got in an argument. <laughs> and I was banging for order, and I knocked a leap out of the dining room table. <laughs> Ain't that a juicy? You ain't thank me. Oh, I do thank you, Hazel, but I have to tell you something. I, I'm not going to be a judge. I'm going to call Judge Winters and tell him that I, uh, I can't accept the appointment. Oh, for Pete's sake! Why not? Because, uh, because I'm not in a position right now financially. Uh, still a mortgage on the house, and uh, I have Harold's college fund to think about. Oh. Oh, no, no, you keep it. You'll be a judge still someday. You might even get on the Supreme Court. Thank you, Hazel. You know, I, uh, I think I'll keep that on my desk. It's a good luck piece. <laughs> 